So in this question, we're going to deal with uh, producer surplus and we're going to again look at the equilibrium position. But we're also going to calculate our producer surplus value. So in this question, we say that the market for brandy is currently in equilibrium. And the first question is draw a graph to illustrate the equilibrium position as well as the producer surplus. So we all know by now that equilibrium is where our supply and demand curve meets or where quantity supplied equals quantity demanded. So we can simply draw a supply curve and our demand curve. And we can show our equilibrium. So we call this point E. And we've got our equilibrium price. And now we need to illustrate where our producer surplus is. Now the easiest way to remember where producer surplus is, it is the area above the supply curve, but below our equilibrium price. So it is this area yeah, the area above the supply curve, but below the equilibrium price, which means that this part there is our consumer surplus. So the second question states that we need to calculate the producer surplus. So we need to calculate this area. If the equilibrium price is 10, so we know we can put that in there, and the equilibrium quantity is 20. So we need to calculate the value of this area, which is our producer surplus. Now, to get the value of a triangle, it is simply half times the base times the height. So we can see it's half times the base. So we'll make the base here 20, which is that part there, because we know we've got the equilibrium quantity of 20. So we can put it in. And times our height of our triangle, which in this case is this part here, which is 10. So it's simply going to be 10 times 10, which gives us 100. So the value of our producer surplus is 100. As simple as that. So the next question, I'm just going to change the color of a pen here. States that suppose a natural disaster hits the producers of brandy. Show the new market equilibrium and the new producer surplus. So if a natural disaster hits, and which means that now the producers of brandy can't produce the same quantity as they used to because there's some natural disaster which influences their production. It means they're going to produce less. So we, kn we know that the quantity is now going to be less, our equilibrium quantity. And the only way we can have an equilibrium quantity which is less than 20 is if our supply curve shifts to the left. So we'll indicate it as S1. And remember, always in economics, you need to illustrate what happened, so indicate which way your supply curve moved. So we can see that we now have a new equilibrium at this point. So we'll call it E1. And we can just illustrate where our equilibrium price and quantity is going to be. And now we can easily find our new producer surplus. Again, same as before, it is the area above the supply curve, but below our equilibrium price, which is this area. And again, if we now have values, we'll put in some arbitrary values of 10 and 20, well, in this case. Uh, and we can, again, calculate this area to find our new producer surplus. And we see that the natural disaster, we can graphically see that it has decreased the value of our producer surplus. Guys, although this question deals with producer surplus, we can quite easily just uh, do the inverse of finding the consumer surplus, same method, and we can again see that the consumer surplus has also decreased. So this question can go either way, or they can simply ask you to calculate both and to indicate what has happened to producer and consumer surplus. Remember, with consumer surplus, it will be the area below the demand curve. Demand should bring up the consumer for you, and the area above the equilibrium price. Producers, producers work on a supply curve, so it'll be the area above the supply curve below the equilibrium price will give you your producer surplus. 